Hi, this is the Modern Savvy CPA coming to you with our first video focusing on business. Congratulations, you're an entrepreneur. You have to decide what entity you would like to form for your new business. Trust me, that can be a very hard decision. Um, it's one of the questions I'm getting asked most of the time. We have five different entities that you can use. We have sole proprietors, partnerships, S corporations, C corporations, and LLCs. There are different rules and different, depending on the state, different avenues of where that you can, you can um, set up each one of these um, entities. My suggestion for a small business who's not really sure where they're going is to set up an LLC and the setup of the LLC will de depend on the state that you live in or the state that you want to set it up in. Um, but with an LLC, when you're not really sure where you're at or where you're going and when you're going to start making money or when you're not going to start making money, it, you, it's one of the least um, worrisome to, to set up, one of the most least worrisome to set up. And then you can change the classification of the entity as you move on. Now, what do I mean by you can change the entity classification? If you're a single member LLC, then for legal purposes, you're protected. Um, and of course, there are rules for that. Um, but you it's disregarded for tax purposes, so it can be filed as a Schedule C on your, on your personal tax return. If, if you're a partnership LLC and you decide later on that you're going to be making money, you can, with either one of these situations, you can elect to become an S corporation once you start making more money and, and, and you're, you're willing to, you have a payroll and you start getting into more, the more complexity of the business. So again, you first start off with an LLC, and then as you go along, you, you'll you see, you'll contact your accountant, and you'll, you'll talk to them about where your business is going, and do they think that you should elect S election or not. So that's the number one in becoming an entrepreneur, deciding on your entity. That is really, really important um, part of starting your own business. Uh, the number two that advice I have for you or the number two tip I have for you is make sure whichever entity you decide on starting with, you have a separate business bank account and a separate business credit card for that entity. Always keep your business funds separate from your personal funds. That is the key to number one, you, if you, are charging things all over the place and moving money all over the place, you are bound to forget something that you would be able to deduct. Trust me, I see it all the time where people are, they lose their, their deduction because they don't remember what they paid their car insurance with or what they paid, you know, dinner with or what they paid a travel with. So having one business credit card and one business bank account where you're using that just for business and and um, charging it just for business and charging and using that bank account just for business income, it's going to be really easy to to do your accounting and follow your money, whether it's going out or it's going in, you can follow it. Um, that leads on to my my third tip for this is picking a software to keep your books and records. Trust me, you need to start with proper books and records. There are many softwares out there that will attach right to your bank account and right to your credit card and feed in all of your information. So if you're using one business credit card and win one business bank account, it will be really easy to categorize that information if it, you're just using those two things and you're, you're not wishy-washing all over the place. So there's tons of software out there that you can um, pick. Pick one software that you're going to start off with. You want to start off with 
a good software because proper books and records are important for many, many reasons. One is to manage your business. Do you want to grow your business? Do you want to eventually sell your business? It's for tax purposes. To have historical data is really important to all these in all these things. Then my fourth, my fourth thing is piggybacks on my third, my, my, my third, my last thing is in addition to that software, bookkeeping and record keeping is vital. It is vital in knowing where your money is. And I've heard many of times from my clients, oh, I know where everything is. It's in my head. I've been doing this for a long time. I understand this. I understand that and whatever. And then when I we bring the numbers forward and we actually show them the profit and loss, which is your overall picture. I explain it like a satellite. You have a satellite in the sky and that's your profit and loss statement. Your, your satellite shows you the whole picture. Now, in order for you to understand what the satellite is showing you, you need to dig down into the satellite. You need to fly the plane a little closer to earth so you can understand where, what you spent on what. Should you have spent that? Is that what you wanted to spend? Sometimes we don't even know. I have people that come to me and they say, I spent that much on advertisement? What did I do that I spent that much on advertisement? I didn't really go and do anything like that. So you were going to be surprised when you look at your overall picture and that gives you power. It gives you power when you have a picture, you have the power to decide that if that's the right thing to do or if you want to change that, then you need to make a plan to change it. But it gives you the power and the, and the options with that power. Because once you have options, you have the power to to, to change and make the different changes that you would like within within the your your realm of your company. So it's super super important to pick the right structure. To have one business bank account, one business credit card to start off with. Only use those things for your business, so you understand where your money is going. If you need to contribute money into your business from personal when you're starting out, sometimes you need to, to lend your business some money because you're not making any money at that point. Then you transfer that into your business bank account and use that as your 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 um your funds from there. So your everything is being captured. You do not want to miss something. I've seen people miss stuff all the time. Trust me. So that is your money, your business 101. Stay tuned for me to explain a little bit further, drill down a little bit further on what each entity's advantage and disadvantages are. Um, so we can recap what we've learned on this video. I recommend LLCs to start out with, depending on your state. You will understand, you will have to check out with how to set up your LLCs and then you move on from there. I recommend keeping one business bank account, one business credit card. I recommend finding a software that feeds in, that your bank account and your credit card company feeds into so you can capture all of your, your expenditures and, and your deposits. And I recommend using that software to keep your books whether you hire someone to help you with that because you're busy with your with your business or you're able to do it yourself at the beginning or you need some training for it, you know, you will have to decide that. So stay tuned for me to explain what the different entities advantages and disadvantages are and um, explaining about bookkeeping and record keeping a little further. And so we can drill down on our next video. Thank you again. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the link below. So if you have questions you'd like for me to answer in a video, I will be happy to hear from you. Just click on the link and send me your questions and it'll be on, your, on one of my next videos, my up and coming video. Thanks again. Bye.